New at 9 now, a show of force in the battle against hate following the recent shootings targeting members of the Jewish community. Tonight, Jewish leaders gathered LA's most powerful officials to send a message. Acts of violence and intolerance will not stand. And KCAL News political reporter Tom Wade is live in the Pico Robertson neighborhood mm -hmm. where that meeting wrapped up just a short time ago. Tom. Hey, good evening to you, Pat and Juan. It is not often that you see L.A.'s mayor, the L.A. County Sheriff, and the L.A. Police Chief all in the same room. Well, that's exactly what happened tonight, and they had a very strong message. The horror we're experiencing is real. The president of the Jewish Federation sounding the alarm after a series of crimes targeting Jewish people. Monday night, Jewish community leaders gathered L.A.'s most powerful officials for a town hall on how to combat hate. L.A.'s police chief Michael Moore, L.A. County Sheriff Robert Luna, and L.A. Mayor Karen Bass all making a joint appearance. I don't just look at this community as the Jewish community. This is my community. This is right where I grew up. The town hall happening here in the Pico Robertson neighborhood just blocks away from the scene of two shootings last week. Both victims were Jewish. One is seen here in security video tending to his arm where he was shot. The other victim also survived. The shooter was arrested and is facing hate crime charges. Thursday night, my conversation with the U.S. attorney was his forceful uh, statement that he would be filing federal hate charges, federal hate charges Friday, an aggressive pursuit of justice. Mayor Bass says one of her goals is to hire more police officers in order to help keep communities safe. One of the things that certainly needs to happen in LAPD, which we all agree to, is LAPD ha is down in its numbers and we need to increase in the numbers. The shootings last week follow a series of other recent incidents, including anti-Semitic flyers being put out and this vile scene last October, a banner of hate unfurled on an overpass along the 405, a group of people echoing the ugly rhetoric being spread by Kanye West to his millions of followers on social media. First, we had one shooting, then a second, and we have no way of knowing if it's gonna stop. And I actually look at it like it's been an escalation that started with flyers, flyers over the weekend, banners across the freeway, and now a shooting. Officials here also pointing out the numbers of hate crimes across the board may be worse than we know. As bad and scary as the statistics are about hate crimes, hate crimes are dramatically underreported. That, that is the truth, and anyone who is paying attention to this will tell you that. We are facing much more hate, even than the statistics tell us we are. Also very heartbreaking tonight was listening to Jewish leaders talk about being scared to bring their children to school, being scared to go to synagogue, wearing things that may identify them as Jewish and make them targets, but they say they will not let fear rule them. They will move forward and they will fight back against this hate. Mayor Bass and the police chief saying they want to work together with the community to make sure they make things safer. Reporting live in the Pico Robertson neighborhood, I'm Tom Wade, KCAL News.